Hello everyone, I'm Mark Snodgrass, and today I wanted to go over how to create your first card in Domo. It's something if you've never um, created anything in Domo before, a little unsure of how to do that, I wanted to walk you through maybe uploading an Excel file into Domo and creating a card off of it. Let me share my screen and we will show you how to do that. So the first thing to know is that you can um, upload uh, your Excel file in several different areas, but probably the easiest is when you're on a specific page that you want your card to show up on, go up to the plus sign in the top right, then click on create new card, and then visualization and spreadsheet upload. This will allow you to drag and drop your file into here, and it will preview it. And if it's in a typically formatted uh, layout, then Domo's going to have an easy time figuring out what the column headings are and what the range of the data is. And it does, usually does a pretty good job of uh, figuring all of that out. You can click on Next. And you're going to choose Replace. It's the first time you've uploaded this. And then you want to name this so you can find it later. And so we'll just call that Sample Expenses and click Save. And now it's going to import that in to the data center where all the other data sets live. That'd be the other place you can um, upload that is through the data center. So now it tries to pick um, some fields that it thinks you might want to build a card off of. Sometimes it does a good job, sometimes not so much. Uh, here we see it tried to sum the invoice number, which is not something that we want it to do. So let's remove that by clicking the X. And let's drag in invoice amount in here. And so now we've got some invoices uh, amounts in here. We've got the date. It figured that out um, already. And it put in the vendors by uh, series in there that put that in there, which is fine for us for this sample. We can choose between different chart types. We could go into vertical bar and see all these different vertical options. We have horizontal, others. Let's just stick with um, the vertical bar for right now. And then we want to just clean this up a little bit. Maybe we don't want it to be by quarter. This date range is in the top right is very important. It tells you how you graph your data. We could graph by month if we want to, or maybe we want to graph by year and see what those totals are. Let's stick with that. Pretty easy to look at for this. Now, you saw when I hover over here, we just get numbers. Since these are um, amounts, it's a good practice to format your data in the type that it is. So if you click on the pencil icon and click on Format, then you can choose Currency. And you can see the LED uh, settings over here, the, the y-axis scales change. And now when we hover over, we've got a dollar sign. But we don't want those decimal places to show up. So let's remove, set decimal place to zero. Now we've got that set. And other thing we want to do is change our summary number, which is right here. We don't want to sum up the invoice number. We want to sum up the invoice amount. And then we can give it a different title, like uh, invoice total. And then we can also format that. And let's format that to currency as well to match what the data looks like. We could show the whole number if we wanted to by unchecking the abbreviate and using the thousand separator but I kind of like the abbreviated format in here. A couple other things to tidy up is to show the uh, what you're looking at. Label those scales. So if we change this value scale, we want to give that a title, and that would be our invoice amount for here. And then down here at the bottom, that would be our invoice date. Let's see if I add these in here. We've now got invoice date showing down here at the bottom. We've got invoice amount. So now your users know what, what they're looking at uh, exactly. This chart property is filled with a lot of different things. It's uh, definitely worth uh, spending some time in here and playing around with it and adding new things in here uh, to just make your data a little more readable, your cards a little more readable to the users. But with that, I've actually just created a card without having to do much of anything. It's a lot of drag and drop and I can save and close. And then that card is there and I'm able to look at that and see that everybody's able to get the answers they're looking for. So I hope you found that helpful. 
And again, my name is Mark Snodgrass, and feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.